بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة العالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آله إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وبارك يا ربنا على محمد وعلى آله محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آله إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد Dear respect brothers and sisters, after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his great bounties on each one of us, the bounty of Islam, the bounty of Iman, the bounty of Quran, and after asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our salam, our love to the great Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may the blessing and the peace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon him, upon his family, upon his wives, upon his companions, and upon his followers. We are going to follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with piety till the day of judgment. Inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Allah's blessing we are still with the great gathering that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has given a glad tidings about the gathering that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is granting the success the gathering that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is granting each one of the attendees to be surrounded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's angels to be overshadowed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy to be given the tranquility by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the tranquility to be sent down on the hearts of those believers, which we have been missing in many of the aspects in our life. In many of the aspects in our life, we have been missing tranquility. They are just rushing, 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 rushing. It's like a race. A race to what? And unfortunately, and we need to make it clear, very few amongst the believer who understand that the, the race, it's a race with timing. It's the race to get out of the other door. But the majority, it's a race to collect. It's the race to compete. It's the race to gain dunya, and that's it. That's the rush that we have been going through. Alhamdulillah subhanahu wa ta'ala that there is a group has been given a part of their time to a little adjust the button so they can, they can reset the whole device from the back so they will go for another cycle of a week. And the shorter your cycle is, the more success you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Sahaba of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has never, has never set up their cycles for a week duration. Alhamdulillah that we are, we are making it, in, we are making it in every week, but you can do the same in homes every day, every half a day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set up the cycles to be every prayer. And that is the reason for the whole five prayers. That is the reason that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not make it 17 rak'ahs once. Let's wake up in the morning, pray the 17, everything's okay, done. Let's make it 25 at once. No. That is the reason Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did say, من الصلاة إلى الصلاة من العمرة إلى العمرة من الجمعة إلى الجمعة between the salah to the salah between the umrah to the other umrah to the coming umrah between the jum'ah to the jum'ah mukaffirat a washing out for whatever minor sins that the human being has committed إذا اجتنبت الكباءه أو ما اجتنبت الكباءه with the condition that the major sins will not be committed so the cycle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making it to us is not a matter of a week. Because the more you are waiting, the deeper will be the hole. And the more difficult you will be able to fix. It's simple. You got an issue, you got a rust on a piece of iron. The more you are going to wait, the more rust the piece of iron will observe the more difficult you are going to be able to repair, isn't it? Once you observe it, oh, something is wrong. Let me make it, bring the polish, hit it the primer. Done. It's fixed. A 
And that is the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has established the heart of the believers. The more you are going to wait, the darker will be the dot that will be plotted in your heart, as Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam did say. That the human being is gonna just, is gonna do good, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is gonna make a white dot in his heart. He's gonna do bad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do a black dot in his heart. And that is the way for any human being. Till Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, so we can understand that there is no single exception of the human being. Till the hearts will be into only two categories, no third. No third. You have to finish to end your life and your heart is one of the two categories. You are gonna keep being hit by black dots and you are doing nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did make it for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hearts will be black. Murbadan kalkuzi mugakhiya. In the Arabic language, it's a tough word. Till your heart will be almost black, not only black in terms of shape and attitude, it will be like a kettle you are using just to heat, to heat the water. And it's not even a straight kettle, a vertical one, no. Kalkuzi mugakhiya, it's a kettle that's not upright position. It's swaying, it's inclined means whatever is inside is, is falling down. Iman is not there. Iman is falling down and is not settled in that heart. And what, the, the, what can be result from that, that whole description? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did say, if the heart will, will come to that situation, لا يعرف معروفا ولا ينكر منكرا إلا ما أشرب من هوا. If we are going to spend another two, three sessions on those few words and we will we'll reflect on them, I would say enough. The heart will come to a situation that whatever is good, he will not realize it good. And whatever is bad, whatever is evil, whatever is forbidden, he will not realize it as forbidden. And we can see it so easy. Once you are getting into the disobedience, remember if you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has infected you with a, with a test, with a ma'asiyah, with a disobedience, drinking khamr, adultery, looking at women, looking at haram, dealing with nasty websites, I'm telling you, check the first time you have committed. It was tough and you felt bad. You went back home, what the hell I have done? How bad am I? Is it correct? Even you have done. You have enjoyed yourself for a few seconds, that's fine. But this, why? Because the origin was still white and you have been hit by one dot. You felt bad. The pain of obedience was that much. Then, no action. Second day, you have been called for the same back and forth, why oh, man, I don't want to go again, just like, just, you made it. You came back home, and the pain is what? Huh? Less. Huh? Oh, just like yesterday, I spent the whole night, I cannot sleep. What I have done? I committed adultery? I went with this guy to do so and so? Next day, oh man, you are so bad, just like, Take your dinner, go in bed. Third day, pain is, huh? Less. Less. Seventh day, huh? No pain. Huh? No pain. No pain. No pain. It has become what? Huh? Habit. It did start with a, a white heart with one dot. You did nothing, it has become two. You did nothing, it has become three. Till the majority has become dark. And it's getting darker and darker and darker till it has become black. You know what the next step? He's the same person, the same person. If we'll take a photo for him, he has not changed. 
He's the same ex guy. Same everything. Same weight. Same tall. Same width. Same everything. But different. Huh? Heart. That's it. You know what's the next step after zero pain? You will invite others. Jazakallah kulli khair. He will be a leader in evil. He started as a follower. And he has become the teacher in the school of dancing. Then he has become a founder of another school. Then he has become the most predominant. Isn't it? That the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created human being based on. And not, that cannot change. And that cannot change. See how is the trend that we have discussed into the depth of evil? Same exactly is happening on the other side. The guy who has been used to, to nasty, every day, 10 hours cards, 10 hours nasty stuff, you brought him mistakenly to one of those sessions. To talk to, just to talk to one another and, and listen to somebody who is crazy like me. Just, let's make it this way. It's because he's gonna come and he's gonna get into the corner and he's gonna keep just like, what this hell of guy is telling me? What's wrong with him? <coughs> he has been used to the other side. He started with a black heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought him to have a white dot. Can you feel it? Is he gonna feel that white dot in his heart? Nothing. What's gonna happen, if, what's the benefit of a drop of honey in a cup of a poison? Means what? Is it, is it efficient? Is it gonna be good? We're gonna tell the guys, don't worry, you have a drop of honey, drink it a cup of poison. He will die. He will be killed, this thing. But he has a, a thought. If that thought will be elaborated on, the first day he left, and he was just like, Half an hour, it was too long for him. I can have 10 hours in front of Mike Tyson, in front of a soccer game, with the nasty guys, with the evil, with the nightclub. I have never felt poor. But I came here, what, man? That's too much for me, even 10, 15 minutes. Even two words of advising will be too much for him. If one of those dots will work even a little bit, today he felt, he felt that the half an hour is too long. You brought him the next day for any reason. He was just like, you were, you, you were giving him a ride and you told him we're gonna stop by just like for, to have a, just like a chat with one. And he came with you because you are the one who's giving him a ride. And he came. And he got inside the session. Yesterday he got a dot. If it did work, if it did work, the next day, he felt he was frustrated after five minutes. The next day, it will be 10. The third day, it will be 15. The fourth day, it will be 20. The same way. Those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I can say all of us, most of the human beings are the same. We used to, used to be evil and used to enjoy Something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not pleased with. And used to enjoy that. Once they repented, and you will tell them, just let's go back to one of those old days, man. And he will, if you compare the two situations, same person, same body, same tall, same width, maybe same weight, but different heart. You say, me? He will remember that, that false happiness and that extreme happiness that he used to feel with the haram lady, with the haram action. Once that heart has changed the same action, it will be the absolute grievous. As the scholars did say, which is one of the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's acceptance for the repentance of any one of the human beings. Because once you have seen the button has been hit, you are not the one who hit the button. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did accept your salah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did accept your asking for forgiveness, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did accept your repentance, Allah's hand will set up the button. The same happiness you used to feel for disobeying Allah. It will be the same amount of grievance and more for the same action. As the scholar used to say, whenever you see the grievance, the grievance, the grievance of obedience, he used to come to the session and 10 minutes for him is a hell, a battle. He cannot even stay for a few minutes. Somebody's gonna tell him halal and haram and death and day of judgment. What those guys have been talking about? They don't have anything except deen to talk about? Yes. We are eating deen, we are drinking deen, we are living deen, we are dying deen. Whomever is accepting. You wanna change the whole system? Show me that you are, you are the creator. And I'm gonna follow. If not, I'm gonna follow the system of the one who has created. And he said, Huh? Qul inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati. Eating, drinking, life, death, ritual, salah, everything. That's the, if you can change it, tell me. If you can give me a grand that I'll, I'll be alive for another 10 years, just a grand, not 10 years. Give me a grand that I'm gonna stay alive for another 10 minutes. Can you? Can you give yourself? Then what? Why you have been debating and, and arguing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The same person who used to have grievance for five, five minutes of reminders, it will be converted to the absolute happiness. And he will be the one who is sitting in the first line. And he does in one of the, the class to end. He's the same guy. Who's the same guy I used to see him holding the cup of khamr in his hand? He's the same guy. The grievance of obedience will be converted to sweetness and happiness. Huh, the other way. And the, the sweetness of disobedience he used to spend just like from midnight till five o'clock talking and chatting and whatever haram he's committing. If you want to push him again into the same direction, and he used to make it at that time, and that's the, his absolute joy. What he's feeling after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did hit the button. Whenever even the, the whole scene is coming in front of his eye, he doesn't want the, the, the tape to continue. A'udhu billah. Me? I did so. He doesn't want to even have the, the camera to bring back the whole shot. Those shots were me? Yes. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did, did cover you. He has seen you. And he was able to take you over in that horrible scene. But he did not. And he gave you the chance that you will keep elaborating on the white dot till Allah will hit the button, set it up, and then inshallah.